What's going on, y'all? It's your boy No Credit, and I'm back again with another one. I need you guys to do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. So Eddie Hearn is promoting Jerron Boots and his fight versus Cody Crawley, and he's getting all, asked all these questions about Ryan Garcia popping dirty for PEDs, fighting Devin Haney, cheating, all kinds of questions is coming in. But Eddie Hearn goes in on Javante Davis, and rightfully so, because Javante, he came for Eddie first. Um, Javante was talking about Eddie let Connor Ben fight, even though he popped dirty, but he's talking about Ryan. It's not up to Eddie at the end of the day. It's up to the commissioner. Javante says some of the most craziest stuff I've ever heard, and I like Javante, but I'm going to call bullshit when I have to call the bullshit. So we're going to go ahead and listen to what Eddie Hearn had to say about Javante Davis. And we're going to break it down because Eddie Hearn completely goes in on Javante. You know, and like I said, rightfully so. Javante, great fighter, but outside of the ring, he's not really that. Whew. And this will end up being Boots Hennessy's hunt. Hey, Eddie, Eddie, uh, real quick. Um, I know you probably spoke on this many times, but... I know Ryan has claimed that uh, he wants to get his B sample. I know that they said that he didn't feel for two substance. He still feel for Austrian and his A sample. Just what's your whole thoughts on this whole situation? I mean, I get, I get a lot of hate. I, I read my DMs the other day on Instagram. There's a lot of Ryan Garcia fans. Oh, stop doing this to Ryan. Stop that. Like, this is a really simple situation. Ryan Garcia failed a drugs test. Two drugs tests. When he entered the ring that night against Devin Haney, he had performance enhancing drugs in his system. Now I've seen the stuff about the levels. I think it was reported 60 times. 60 times That's what the level of what you're allowed. It's quite it's quite a lot. I and mean, you can talk about it. it's only point this and point that. Guys, come on. Right. Now, what I've said before, and I've said it again, to Ryan Garcia, to all the Ryan Garcia fans around the world, I really hope he's innocent. I even give him the benefit of the doubt. Right? I like innocent until proven guilty. But we have to deal with the reality, which is this. Whatever happened, whether he cheated or whether he was unlucky, he had performance enhancing drugs in his system when he boxed Devin Haney. Okay? Unlucky or not, that's fact. Therefore, the contest will in my opinion 100% be a no contest not that it actually I would say really matters I don't think Ryan Garcia is overly bothered about his record I think Devin Haney is more but all I'm saying is right now if you're Devin Haney and you're thinking to yourself oh my god I went 12 rounds in a war with that guy who came in three and a half pound over, who was God knows how many pounds heavier than me on fight night. And on top of that, he had performance enhancing drugs in his system. You could imagine how Devin Haney's feeling right now. So I don't get any of this, come on guy. I mean look, like you got the Connor Ben situation. I went, I, I've been in it, I'm still in it. We're still having hearings about it, it's two years on, right? And by the way, and I've, you know, I've talked further about this in time, but what was found in Connor Ben's system was much, 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 much less than what was found in Ryan Garcia's system, right? And I fully, fully believe Connor Ben, right? I've been through various hearings with him, and Ryan's got to go through all these hearings. Like I say, I give him the benefit of the doubt, but what we can't do is just ignore the reality which is he had performance enhancing drugs in his system in the fight and i'll tell you one other thing that he just i mean i listen and this is the part where he shreds javante davis um completely sons javante and like i said rightfully so javante and he stopped putting his nose into something that, that where it doesn't belong he shouldn't mind his business on a situation like that and stop celebrating the fact that Devin Haney lost. I know Devin Haney talked trash on you, 
but don't celebrate the man losing, especially losing to a guy that allegedly took PEDs. That's a bad look on Javante part, and I don't support that. Let's wait for the B sample, and if Ryan is guilty, Javante is going to look even more worse. But let's listen to Eddie Moore. To Javante Davis, it is so painful listening to this guy who, who had, knows absolutely nothing, right? And he's like, I don't know if you saw the clip. He's like, yeah, what I want to know is, like, how comes they let him fight if he had it in his system? It's like... The tests on Friday and Saturday. Yeah, but why didn't they get it back within three days? In no VADA testing, in the history of VADA testing, has any result come back in three days? It takes anywhere between like 10 days, absolute minimum, and sometimes up to 28 days to get a result back. In fact, funnily enough, when that result came back, we also received a result from Joe Caldina, a negative result, on the same day of testing, the same day that that other uh, test came through on, on April 20, right? So there's nothing untoward about the period of testing. One of the things that people keep talking about, they, they do have a point, this whole, what is the point? You guys heard what Eddie had to say, and like I said, rightfully so. Javante should have mind his business. Eddie Hearn just literally exposed Javante Davis of not knowing how uh, tests didn't work because he doesn't know that um, after you test, it takes a little bit of time to get your testing back. And Javante is a boxer who get tested. He should know this stuff, so he shouldn't be in the public saying ignorant stuff. Like, why did he let Ryan fight if they knew he was on PEDs? Like, it doesn't make sense if Javante himself get tested and his test don't come back for a little bit. It don't come back immediately. Like, you get tested on Friday, the fight is on Saturday. How they gonna have your test already? So Eddie Hearn just put it into perspective for a lot of boxing fans and for Javante who is a boxer and should know what goes on behind the scenes, but he seems very ignorant to what's going on. You know, I'm not the biggest Eddie Hearn fan, but in this situation, I agree with Eddie, Eddie Hearn and in everything he's saying, Javante completely embarrassed himself. And so Eddie Hearn has every right to put Javante in his place point in testing on Friday and Saturday, if you're not going to get the results back in time and you allow someone to enter the ring, I disagree with that. You still have to test to find out if someone did cheat. What are you going to do? Stop testing two weeks before and go, okay guys, uh, we're not going to test anymore. You can do what you want. So, you know, I don't know enough about these substances. I don't know enough about the nanograms and pictograms and all this bullshit we deal in reality which is this he entered the ring with performance enhancing drugs in his system okay now he has to prove that he didn't take them intentionally if he didn't take them intentionally i feel really sorry for him and i hope innocent prevails innocence prevails if he did take him intentionally and he cheated that's another story and he you know arguably should never be able to fight again i believe him in this situation because i want to give a fight the benefit of the doubt i don't know him i've never spoken to him but when you're sitting there saying oh i wasn't taking pets i was smoking weed and i was drinking every night and then you see clips of him and i IV drips in and all this sort of stuff. It ain't a good look. So if I was in, just stay professional at this point. Let your lawyers deal with the situation. Hopefully he was unlucky, but we have to go through due process. Eddie, 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 Eddie question for you. So, so Manny, when, Pacquiao, <laughs> uh, Manny Pacquiao, Conor Ben was pretty much there to be done, but we're still going through the process. As I said, like this is a lengthy process. I mean, we're two years in, and we still have having hearings. Conor Ben has boxed twice, but he hasn't been able to fight in his own country. And he's, you know, the, I would say that's ridiculous, two years on. So we'll see what 
fan Ryan Garcia gets and see how that reflects on the Conor Ben situation. But, you know, again, you know, Javante's comments, oh, he was going to let Conor Ben fight uh, after he failed a drug test. Not a choice. It's not my choice. It's down to the commission. All of those reports go to the commission and the commission makes their decision. I don't overrule a commission. And in this instance with Ryan Garcia, the New York State Athletic Commission will be the ones ruling on this. Those are the words of Eddie Hearn, man. Completely put Javante in his place. And he sends Javante, like I said, one more time, rightfully so. Javante needs to stop pulling his nose somewhere he doesn't belong. Mind his business. Stop being newsy. And speaking on a situation he knows absolutely nothing about. So he deserve what's coming to him. You know, I know he wants to troll Devin. He's so happy that Devin lost. But he's going about it the wrong way. And he also said Eddie let uh, Connor Ben fight, even though Connor Ben popped 30 twice like Ryan. But like Eddie said, it's not up to him, it's up to the commission. So, Gervonta needs to know what he's talking about. It's up to the commission if a guy can fight, if he pops dirty. So, Gervonta talking like that, it makes him look very bad. Very bad. You're you're a boxer. You're supposed to know what's going on in this sport. Can't come out here and say misleading stuff like that to confuse the public when these decisions are not up to the promoters. They're up to the commission. Anyways, your boy no credit, and I'm out.